Yeah, I might believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dimwits. You were supposed to be somewhere? I was. Fine. Where will you meet? Near the Huntsman's Cottage. Always had a soft spot for me. You just invent this count bet. Geralt will vouch for me. True. <laughs> just... What's with this count? Well... I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients? Did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs. Spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. Hi. <laughs> the fields are covered with rosemary blooming like well just before Yule, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Yes? Out in a hunt, Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if... As you will. You're always welcome. I think the nag would know me after all these years. They're smart, grow attached, a bit like people. Saw officers weep for their fallen mounts, though wailing women and crying babes didn't move them one bit. Been away long? A year, not quite. But it feels like more, let me tell you. They force you to join? Nah, I was eager to fight. Thought I'd bring home more than just the scars on my back. Did see a chunk of the world, though. Some mammoth battles, a few famous generals from afar, and lots of horses. Didn't see the Emperor take Novigrad, but I don't regret it. Beautiful city. But I wonder what awaits me back home. Which side do you fight for? Like most, my own. Fought to stay alive. Dying's all the same. Dirt and shite, be it under the Redanian Eagle or the Imperial Sun. No glory in it. Glad to see the horses in good hands. The best. His owners. Do you miss me, Golden? Huh? Do you miss me? I'd say he did. Bolted off soon as he sensed you. Toppled anyone in his way. Um, do you mark anyone calling after him? Plowing in armpits or some such? But one man here curses so odd, my neighbour, Mirko. Gave him Gulden to care for when I left. Or to go see him, must be worried. Here. Token of my appreciation for running after Gulden. To see you is all right. That's it, Roach. I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. Pam for Ram. Oh!
She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Good day to you. Good day. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. Ah, wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. Think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. We should pick up the snares. Miss Love will collect them. And we should probably try to hunt along the way. Just this morning, the rabbits were a matter of life and death. <laughs> to be honest, I just wanted to go for a walk with you. Let's go then. Nest is just up the hill. Griffin's carcass might still be there. Mmm, splendid. We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow it's sun up then. Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Hmm. there. Careful now. This is no time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! Faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? All right, enough. Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Mm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. Ice shouldn't be too thick here. Uh-huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? See, I'll be damned. Should we go? 
No, no way. Lake's got to be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Hmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No, we'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. Show you something. The old witch's trick for tough winters. Not terribly subtle, but. Effective? Mm hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. Go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Belagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Hmm. Huh. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. Hmm? Whew, it's cold. You never gave me piggyback rides at Cam Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> huh? Had to wait till now to remind me? You've put on some weight since Cam Morhen. We should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage. Yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How could I forget? Those months at Care Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. 
They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard, to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long. Argued, really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters round forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. You could have told me, warned me. I wanted to, but I didn't know how. I've been happy here. I was afraid I'd ruin it. I wanted to make every minute count. So, back at the nest, I was about this. I didn't pry, didn't want to force you to tell me. Thought we had time, a lot more time. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. Traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. You know where to find me. You can't possibly stay at Kermorhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. True. Remember what I taught you. Never know. Could be useful there too. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the Northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. Though the war on the continent had ended, Hjalmar refused to lay down his arms. 
The young king pledged to raid and burn the shores of the empire of Nilfgaard each spring. He meant to keep his word, even at the cost of drowning his people in their own blood. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities. From her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. Few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. <laughs>